Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, and I have a fight for you guys. It's me versus the grappling gorilla. And this guy, Rivera, was all about grappling, all about trying to be that denying dingo. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to show you this fight. Number one, I want to show you, you know, how a grappling gorilla operates. But I also want to ask you guys what I could have done to improve on my performance. So right away, he goes for a takedown and he gets it. And I ended up reversing him. I go into good old stack guard and I'm just trying to unload on him. But my stamina wasn't high. And that's one thing that kind of was against me. And I'm waiting for him to kind of kick to deny it, holding R2. And he gets out. I should have held R2 and right analog to the right. But right here, I'm feeling pretty good that I reversed him. And I'm going to utilize my stand-up game. And I'm feeling pretty good, man. But uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, throughout the course of this fight, I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but I felt like... This guy was putting the old leg switch on me. I felt like the, the fight was lagging out. Not in the beginning, though. But hopefully we can catch it right here. I don't think he was leg switching me, to be honest. But it just seemed like the game got a lot more choppier when the fight became a little more competitive. See right there? But obviously, that's not... I don't know. That's not a leg switch. It's a bad connection. Oh, how did he not get rocked with that? I find sometimes those kicks to the body, kicks to the head, they don't register in the game. So he gets the takedown. I felt like this whole fight, every takedown he was taking, even though I was trying to deny it, it just wasn't registering. <laughs> I just wasn't doing it faster or fast enough. So right here, this is where the grappling gorilla shines. And feel free to let me know what I could have done, man. So I deny him there. I end up getting back sitting after that denial. I miss the top mount. Sometimes I, I get that top mount confused. Like which side, to the right or to the left? Got to get back into the UFC gym and figure that out. Because I feel like that slight delay of a second of looking at the HUD throws me off and I don't get the mount. But at this point in the first round... I'm feeling all right, man. I'm feeling all right. Until he gets the mount. But I managed to get out of it. But that little hiccup was throwing me off. And this is where I believe he starts scoring some points. No, but I managed to escape. But I'm wasting a lot of stamina. The grappling gorilla. Doing his thing. Good little round. Good, good little competitive round. And if you look at the stats, I had more significant strikes. He did control me on the map, but he didn't really do much with it. So here we go. We're moving on to the second round. And what's going on in my mind is I'm scared of this guy's crap. Like I even refuse to touch, which usually I do touch. Whoa. And right away, he just goes for that takedown. And I'm aware of it, and I'm like, man, do I still kick? Because you know when you kick, you're off balance. It could be caught, it could be blocked, it could be missed, and then he can go for that easy takedown. So I'm debating at this point, do I go for kicks? But I'm still throwing them, because that's part of my offense. And he's trying to slow dance with me too, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, slow dance, grappling. Too much to think about early in the morning, and he's rocked me. And that's all because he has all these things that he's planted in my head. Grappling, clinching. And here, <laughs> the grappling gorilla turns into the Nyan Dingo. He gets me here, and this is where I find when guys pick the correct side of your transition when you're in crucifix it becomes even harder to get out of it. And I try to do the old rock to one side, rock to the other, but sometimes it doesn't work. What's your strategy when you're facing a guy like this that 
is pretty good at denying in crucifix. So right here, man, I'm trying to get out. And even right here, geez, like the HUD doesn't show anything. And I'm trying to catch his arms right here, and that's kind of playing with fire. What do you do when they're postured up in half guard? Because I'm afraid he's going to deny me. But then rolling the dice and trying to catch one of the arms is risky. Yeah, let me know. I have a lot of questions in this video. Let me know what you do when you're in half guard postured up. Right here. Do you block and then transition? See, I like catching the arms, but like I said, it's throwing the dice. Oh my gosh. Fight ending elbows. Oh, it goes into stack. And even here, look at this. The leg switching, going on in full effect. Just kidding, but what do you do to get out of this spot? See, again, I try to catch the arms. If I have a submission guy, I push L2 and try to grab an arm for an arm bar. But I find these amazing grapplers are just so good in stack. And you can't do anything. You can't get out. I finally get out by pushing off. But guys are able to deny that. Yeah, and like I said, I just felt the whole fight I couldn't stuff a takedown. I guess when some guys are in different time zones, that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. It's just you gotta actually pre-deny those takedowns. Sometimes if you have a really good connection, you could see the takedown and deny it, and, it, and it's easy. But in cases like this, you gotta almost deny it before it actually happens. But right now, I feel like the fight is 1-1. But my confidence is at an all-time low. Because I'm like, I can't hang with this guy in the grappling game. So what's going on in my mind, people, is I'm like, you know what? I got to just go full throttle when it comes to this third round. I feel like it's 1-1. And I just got to use my stand-up game, trying to get as many points as I can on the feet. And then if he takes me down, just try to survive. Don't get rocked. Obviously, don't get finished. But that's my mentality going into this third round. Just hurt him. Try to hurt him. But the grappling gorilla is looking to <laughs> showcase his moves. And much respect. Every round starts on its feet, baby. Let's see what this grappling gorilla has. Is he all about the grappling? Or is, does he have a stand-up game? He goes for the chicken leg, and I deny it. And I'm really trying to put the pressure on him. Oh, I rock him right there. I rock him. And then I'm thinking, do I grapple with him? I got the crucifix right here. And he's waiting. He's doing a great job of moving and, and then I try doing it again. I don't get it, so I'm like, abort mission. Abort mission. Let's keep it on the feet. Oh, nice denial. Now I'm like, what could I do? His momentum siding on our side. But I find like he, at this point in my head, I'm like, this guy just wants to take me down. So I got to be aware of that. And you know what the best counter to a takedown is? I'll tell you. It's got to be the uppercut. Uppercut's the best counter if you could time it right. But at this point, this guy's, again, trying to just wear me down on the mat. And he loves this half guard position. And this is where... I'm asking you, what do you do? See, I blocked the arm right there. And there, that's good. But then even getting up in full guard, I found it to be very tough. See, I'm trying different things. Oh, I managed to get out in a different avenue and we get, have it back on the feet. And I feel like I'm winning the round. I hurt him. And I'm just trying to put the pressure on him. He's throwing haymakers. I'm being very calculated, people. Trying to figure out what to do. I'm waiting for that shoot too. That's why I'm hanging back. You know what's going to happen. And there it is. Yeah. <laughs> so I was waiting for it. And there you go. That's what you get. 
The grappling gorilla goes down. The denying dingo is no longer. But that's what I was waiting for. I was hanging back, waiting for that double leg. And instead of trying to deny it, I was going for that home run uppercut. And look at that right here. Bang. And if you go for that takedown and you see an uppercut coming, it's game over. And in my opinion, it was kind of a fluke win. A fluke win on my part because... I don't know, man. I gotta give myself more credit. That was good strategy. I was waiting for it. Waiting for it and bang! Nighty night to the grappling gorilla. But anyway, people, let me know your thoughts on this video. Let me know what you do when you're facing a grappling gorilla and what I could have done to improve my game in this fight. Alright, people? This is Ricky J, man, from Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome.